So I've been seeing a bit of a trend on Dribbble for these interactive tab bars. So here's one from Kuberto Design. And then I saw another one by Aurelian Salomon. And I thought, why not try to recreate this inside of Envision Studio? I thought this was really cool. So let's get right into it. All right, so I finally figured out how to record myself. So I'm really pumped about this. Um, we're gonna have a video along with the screen recording. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. Um, giving it a shot, fingers crossed it works. Um, but here we're looking in studio and we have four artboards that I pretty much copied exactly from that dribble shot. I got a bit lazy. Um, I actually just got back from a week long design workshop and I'm pretty beat, but I wanted to give you guys a video this week. And I saw this dribble shot and I thought it was really cool. I'm really into these like unique micro interactions, especially for a tab bar, right? Like a tab bar hasn't really changed that much throughout the years. And from a functionality standpoint, I don't even know if this really helps the UX at all. You know, it's a little delightful kind of experience here, but you know, take this with a grain of salt. I just think it's fun to do these little micro interactions. So the first transition is gonna be from this home to likes screen. So we're gonna tap on this heart icon and we're gonna transition to the like screen. So we wanna be thinking about what's gonna to happen to these elements on the different screens. So this home indicator and this home text, since it's gonna animate, actually has to be on both screens. So I'm just gonna select both of those layers, hit Command C to copy, and then head over to the like screen and paste them right on this screen. So now they're on both screens. Now I'm gonna take these layers and just drag them pretty much to the bottom of the layer list. So right above this tab bar background layer, so this white layer, but underneath the likes indicator layer. Now based on that dribble shot, this indicator kind of collapses from right to left. So I'm just gonna kind of do this. So we're gonna get this right to left collapsing action. And it's also gonna fade out. So let's take its opacity all the way down. Same thing with this home text. We don't wanna see this in the like screen. So we're gonna just collapse it as well. So we'll move it over 20 pixels and we'll take its opacity down. So that's not gonna be visible in this screen either. But now these elements are on both screens and Studio is gonna do pretty much all the work for us when we go to animate. It's just gonna animate the difference between these layers from screen to screen. But we also wanna think about what's happening with this likes indicator as well as this likes text. So this is gonna animate. So these elements also have to be on the home screen. So I'm gonna paste those onto the home screen. Again, let's bring them to the bottom of the layer list right above the background layer here. But this time it's just gonna collapse from the other side. So we're going to collapse it from left to right like so. And again, we'll fade it out. And the likes text here, we're just gonna move over 20 pixels to the right this time because it's collapsing from the left side here. And let's also fade that guy out. So now those elements are in the home screen, but they're not visible. So that's exactly what we want. Now we should be all set up to transition from home to likes and from likes to home. So to get from home to likes, we're gonna tap on this heart icon so let's find the heart icon and let's hit C on our keyboard, create a link to the like screen. We're gonna trigger this with a tap. We're gonna have motion selected. Let's hit save. And now to get from likes to home, we're going to tap on the home screen, do the same thing, create a link to the home screen, trigger with a tap, select motion, hit save. So now let's see what happens when we go to our preview. So we, t we start on the home screen, we tap on the heart icon, and we get this really cool animation. And notice how these elements are behaving. The indicators are collapsing and expanding accordingly. And same with the text, it's also kind of collapsing and expanding accordingly based on how we position these layers. And we can actually preview this in more detail if we select the layer and head to the edit timeline. And now we can just scrub through this timeline to see what's happening in more detail. And in real life, it's not gonna happen this slow, but now we just get a really granular view of what exactly is happening. And this looks pretty good to me. If 
you want though, maybe you want say this home text layer to get out of the way a bit quicker. So what you could do is just highlight this layer and decrease the time it takes to fade out. So it's just gonna get out of the way a bit faster. Um, I don't think it's really gonna make a difference, so I'm not gonna do that, but that's how you would do that. So now we can simply just repeat exactly what we just did, but for these other layers. So I'm just gonna fast forward now, and we'll come back when all of these interactions are made from screen to screen, and we'll be back with the final result. So I repeated this process for the remaining artboards, and I made sure I made all of my links from screen to screen, and here's what we have. Really cool tab bar animation. Looks exactly like that dribble shot. So yeah, that's been it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up, comment with what you wanna see next, and subscribe for more tutorials, plenty more studio tutorials on the way, and I will talk to you guys in the next one.